welcome. I hope you can hear me. Thank you for joining today's session. Our topic today is flow. There's a guy with a really hard per to pronounce last name who wrote a book called Flow. It's a very good book. Don't know if you've read it. But I am wondering if you've ever experienced the concept of flow in your life. If so, I'd like you to contemplate, think about that, and take the next two minutes to write down words in the chat that come to mind when you think of yourself in a flow state. And a flow state is basically when you're just grooving, you're jiving, you're in the rhythm, you're in the flow, you're surfing the wave. There's so many analogies, but you know what I mean? Like you're you're in a you're in a groove, you're 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 at it and you're focused done. So take two minutes, write down some words that come to mind when you think about yourself being in a groove in the chat and in two minutes I'll say go and we'll share what you've written and then you'll each have a chance to talk about what you wrote. Can you guys hear me okay, or should I turn down the, the natures? Yeah. Diana, welcome. We are writing down some words that come to mind when the flow and or being in flow state. And we're writing them in the chat. And before we share them, we're gonna uh, write them for a couple minutes here, and then I'll say go, and we'll share them in the chat, and then have a chance to kind of talk about them.
not if you're ready. going. That's fine too. But, um, just go ahead and share what you wrote in the chat. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Last will be first and the first will be last. I didn't think that means me. I was last, so they're probably I'm first. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's what I wrote. Um, oh, the sound just went away. Is that okay? Did I do anything? Did I break it? Oh, I can't hear anything now, but you can hear me. Sorry, we can hear you just fine. I just oh, wanted okay. to hear your lovely voice without the nature's. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Here's what I wrote. Uh, and I see I took the assignment a little bit differently. Uh, okay. Uh, immersion in the moment, whole body and mind, nothing else matters, timeless, joy, doing, being, spontaneous, laser focused, but can also be broadly open to everything at once, moment to moment. Excellent. I think... I was along a similar line as you, Clark. I said, clean, energy, creative, fresh, beauty, movement, focus. And I kept also thinking back to nature, but wasn't sure how to pull that in and articulate that in the moment. I'm clearly the one who misunderstood the assignment. I was actually thinking of actual activities that I do that make, put me in that state. So um, no, there is no missing. There's no missing. <laughs> um, so I wrote hiking, um, walking my dog, because um, I'm now trying to meditate while I walk him, skydiving, kayaking, floating in the water, camping in a tent, um, and the, um, the castle in the clouds in Portugal. Oh, my word. I have so many questions. But mine was nature, water, wind, creatures, music, giving, caring, rest, steady, not rushed. That's a big one. Slow and fast, time standing still, losing track of time, joy, service, dance, in step in sync not the band love and now we come to the part of the show where we get to ask each other questions and then we will dismiss i was just thinking about how funny it would be to be like skydiving and be all like I wonder what I should have for dinner tonight. That email gets sent. Uh, uh, what do I have to do to work tomorrow? <laughs> oh, man. Like, I can't imagine. Well, I've never gone skydiving, so I think that would be an amazing immersive experience. I will tell you, when you're up there, you don't think of any of those things. I did it over the Finger Lakes region, so when you like come out of the plane, you're seeing all five of them, and when you get down on the ground, you don't see any. Like just like the the disappearing of each of the Finger Lakes, like it feels like it's like one at a time is so like, it, and you can't hear anything. Like you think you'd hear like all these sounds, but you hear nothing. The minute the parachute opens, it's like dead silence except for the person who's attached to your back breathing. But, but I highly recommend it. It was one of the most amazing things I've ever done. That is definitely on my bucket list. But I gotta ask, Tracy, what is this castle in the clouds in Portugal? So there is a, um, let me see if I can bring it up. It's um, uh, one of the kings, he married a woman from England a long time ago and she was so depressed 
and he searched all through Portugal to find a climate that was similar to England and he found this mountaintop and he built her this castle. So when you're there, um, is anyone familiar with the Avatar The Last Airbender, the animated series? Okay. Okay, then Anna, you might appreciate this. When I was there, I felt like I was at the Air Temple and it was like the coolest thing because you don't see ground and you're standing on these like balcony-like things and you're just surrounded by like what looks like clouds. It is the most beautiful place. Sounds real. I'm wondering if there's places, I mean, that place, of course, places that are more accessible in our everyday lives that kind of give, give you a shortcut to flow. Um, like for me, if I'm in a good coffee shop, um, I mean, the coffee helps, but the environment also is really helpful to have people doing things around me um, that I'm not responsible for though. <laughs> and being able to just sit and flow in my own space there. Um, so do you have places like that? I clearly wrote some of mine, but I also live near the Adirondacks and anytime I'm up high, you can see like just how expansive the world is. It's just extremely, just makes you just feel, I don't know, very just like you're outside your body almost. Any other questions? I am wondering actually, because I know, Clark, I know you have a lot of different interests and you're into like a lot of different things. Like you make music, you like used to, like, I don't know if you still act, I know you used to, and like you have all these creative outlets. Like, I'm wondering, like, is there one you like more than the other, or do you get different things out of the different activities? Yeah, thanks. Um, well, I haven't really acted for a long time now. Uh, right now, it's really predominantly music for me uh, and making videos to go along with them. And I, I definitely would say that when I am creating, whether it's music or video or like paintings I've been doing also sometimes in the last few years. Um, I, I for, often feel like I'm in the flow state for sure, where it's just like, time, you know, time, what time is it? I have no idea, you know, um, but uh, yeah, so I think, I think a lot of people probably feel similarly about the creative state and that, that it can bring up a, a flow state just like, but I also like what Anna said too about like, you know, even like the, the environment of a coffee shop or certain environments, it's just like, you feel like I'm, you're a part of this larger thing, you know, and, and you're just kind of like in it. Um, which I think is fantastic. Uh, yeah. Anna, I have a question for you. So I just learned about this today in a staff meeting, but there's actually an app that mimics the sound of a coffee shop. I, I just heard about it, but one of my colleagues used it while he was writing his dissertation to help him get into the flow. So I just wanted to point that out. That's cool. I have not used that. However, I have used video game soundtracks because I've read that they are specifically made to keep the gamer in the game um and so that's helpful also i'll have to look up a coffee shop one i will get the name of the app and i will send it to you yeah will you send it to all of us and i'll i'll also try to put it in the the show notes too uh, there's one i that someone shared with me a few years ago and it's super great 
I wonder if it's the same one. It's web-based, though. I don't know if it's an app, but I know there's so many, too, so... But can't wait to see what that is. I'd also like to, um, if possible, have Anna um, send along the gaming one, because I, I think that that is absolutely fascinating and makes a lot of sense. See if I can find the article, um, but I'll just use like Spotify and just look up. I'll just search video game soundtracks and you'll have a plethora to check out. And playlists too. I've noticed a lot of people have made playlists for specific games as well as sort of gaming in general and so on. And I have a question for Tracy. Um, I noticed that pretty much all of yours are related to nature and the outdoors, um, which I think is a it's natural right like just like the outdoors can have that effect on you right it was the first thing that that dave listed as well um and i, I think a lot of people uh when they come to realize that they realize how restorative nature is um anyway i, I just wondered how you feel about that and if, if there's any ways that you found when you're stuck indoors <laughs> that, that that is helpful for you uh, I thought of that too as soon as I hit enter. Um, but yeah, I'm very definitely connected to nature. I grew up on a farm, so like being outdoors is just in my like being. But um, indoors, I actually really enjoy cooking. I don't enjoy baking, but cooking I really, really get into. Um, and I find it very therapeutic. That is so wonderful. And I do not, but I like that for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, of course, I don't want us to feel rushed, ironically, right? So any last words or questions before we dismiss? I have a question. We, we did spend some time talking about music, and I too love music. It's definitely one of my outlets as well. Um, and I know there's been like this like revert back to vinyl, and I was just wondering. Like, I know I have a huge vinyl collection because I love the cra the crackling sound as well around Christmas time, especially with Christmas carols. And I was just wondering if like that was like a thing for you all as well. Totally a thing. And have a I have one sort of a hypothetical strange question to ask um, it popped up that is can you be in a flow state simultaneously recognize that you're in a flow state so when you recognize you're in a flow state are you have you necessarily left the flow state sort of like it's like a cognition or you know consciousness sort of question right um as in like can you be in a flow state and be like oh i'm in a flow state and then <laughs> you just left the flow state. shoot not anymore that is a very meta question uh yeah and as you're asking all i can I could just relate it to, you know, when you're in a dream and you know you're in a dream, but you're still in the dream. I wonder if it's like, if you could do that in a way that's similar to that, where you know, but it's not like you really know. Boy, oh boy, can I share a quick story that happened to me just this week? So related to that. I'm not, I won't get into the nitty gritty details, but something happened uh on monday and it sent me into a i don't know how to describe it other than a panic attack or like a um paranoid kind of state and immediately i shut things down and i uh i called my therapist and he picked up and he couldn't come over right away but he said do you have anyone who can come over otherwise you need to call 911 right now 
and I was like, yeah, I've got some people I could call. And I, it just never even occurred to me to just ask, and I called a friend, and he came over and spent the whole afternoon with me. And I had to ask him, I, and I'm not, I'm being fully honest here, like I, I try to always be honest, but um, I'm telling you the truth here, like in terms of my experience, I had to ask him, Am I dead? And I swear to God, guys, I was not on mushrooms. And I asked him, uh, is this a dream? And he looked at me and he said, you are fully alive. And I lost it. But I also, that's exactly what I needed to hear. That's my story. <laughs> I'm glad you're alive. Oh, thank you. Me too. It's, it is a gift to be alive, is it not? It is. I'm also really liking the glasses that you have on Why, today. thank you. Um, I, I can't tell you how many people have been saying that lately, and so I just keep wearing them because you got to keep the people happy, right? Well, this has been a true joy and blessing. Thank you for joining me today. And may we go forth and flow throughout the rest of the day and the week, and I will see you next week. <laughs> see you guys. Good. Namaste.